guys, welcome to MK Community's Brokerage. My name is Mohammed. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fill out an EasyPass Clones account form. Now, for those people that are interested in closing the EasyPass account, in order for you to do that, you have to close the account by filling out this form as you see on the screen. Now, this is the closed account form for the EasyPass. Without filling this form out and sending it to them, your account won't be closed. Um, so, first thing first, in order for you to close an account, you need to put the account number, the name, the address. Now, if you're already in the EasyPass account login, which I'll show you the page, then it's a little bit different. Then most of these information will already be pre-filled. If you don't have that part, then you could do it from online, printing out the EasyPass form. And uh, this part, as you see on the screen, won't be pre-filled. You have to fill it out yourself. Make sure you put the account number, your name, and the address where you live. Once you do that part, your tags, if you have one or two or three tags, no matter how many tags you got, you're going to ship it to one address listed over here. Easy Pass, New York City Service Center, Close Account Processing, PO Box 149001, Staten Island, New York 10314. Obviously, you're going to give them a reason why you're closing the account. Now, you could be moving out of the area, you could be changing jobs, your business closed, you're no longer driving, whatever it is, you sign it, you date it with this form, and you send it to them. Um, I will highly recommend if you are going to send these, uh, if you have like more than one transporter, transporter with you, uh, I will make sure to put it in a box and use priority mail with USPS and send it to them. At least you have a tracking number that shows that the, these people ended up getting the, the account form and the transporters with it. So make sure everything is already bundled together and send it to them. Um, so basically this is the form that I wanted to show you. Let me make this a little bit bigger. So as you can see, this account for account and name will already be printed out if you're already in the Easy Pass uh, login screen. If you're not, then the screen that you see over there, then you have to fill out yourself. If not that, then most of the time it is uh, or logged in. So basically, you put everything in, close account services, PO box, and everything. And once you do that, fill it out, and basically that's spotted. Um, your page will actually tell you how many transporters you also have. So if you have two transporters, those are the tags that you put so that Easy Pass could read for the bridges and tunnels. So that's what the transporter is for those of you that don't know what that is. So basically, no matter how many you have, make sure you send it in one box and ship it to them, and that's it. Um, obviously, give them a call and let them know, listen, did you receive it or not? Um, so if they did receive it, you'll know, and they'll be able to refund you the amount of whatever you have on, on, the, on the tag. Um, but that being said, that's about it. That's how you fill out an Easy Pass account closed form. Um, if you guys have any other questions, comment, concern, please comment, like, subscribe. I'll try my best to help you out as much as possible or any confusion you guys have with Easy Pass. As you can see, this is an easy form to fill out. A lot of people have confusion that should I walk in, should I go? I mean, you do have an option to walking into the center, but I've seen a lot of these days due to the situation that we're in right now these days with the coronavirus and everything else it's a little bit changing so if you guys want to go in inside the, the the center as well most of the center is going to be closed keep that in mind make sure you give them a call and find out if your centers are open or not you don't want to go there and then end up finding out that they're closed because you do have an option you can either mail it to them or you could actually go down in person but during during this pandemic like i said again most of the centers are closed so i would highly recommend giving them a call and finding out for whatever reason they don't pick up the call then just send it to them make sure you have a tracking number make sure you get receipts from from the post office ups fedex whoever you're going from and make sure you keep it for your record to show that you did send it to them again thank you guys for watching this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it thank you